we are here in Melbourne, Australia, with Noah Baker to learn how to harvest honey from his longstrap beehive that he keeps in his back garden. Initially, Noah gears up in his bee suit and lights up his smoker using pine needles. He has a beautiful garden with many beautiful flowers. Like this kangaroo pearl, the garden provides nectar for his bees, but also to shelter his bees in a corner of his small garden. At the moment, he has four boxes stacked up, but sometimes when the colony grows large, he has up to five boxes and produces a lot of honey. One year, he produced 180 kilos of honey from this one beehive. The bottom two boxes are called brood boxes and where the queen bee lays all her eggs. The upper two are called honey supers where the worker bees go to store most of their honey. Between the boxes is a queen excluder that keeps the queen down below laying eggs while the worker bees go upstairs to store honey. Now uses a smoker to calm the bees and then a hive tool to lift out the frames. With each frame, he gently sweeps off the bees from the honeycomb. See how he walks through the gardens to trail off the bees and places the frame into a super box and then covers it with a cloth to keep away all the bees. He does this until he has enough rooms with honey for extracting. Now he is ready for honey extraction with the honey frames from the Langstroth Beehive. He uses an uncapping knife heated in hot water for easy removal of wax cappings and expose the pure honey inside. White capped comb like this makes the best honey. After that, he inserts the frames into the centrifugal honey extractor and starts spinning. He spins it for around 2 minutes to allow the honey to come out of the comb. This is a great method because the empty wax combs are then put back into the hive to be filled again with honey. Now finally sets a bucket with a wire and mesh strainer over it to receive the honey for saving. This is how Naobaka makes his honey in his back garden in Australia. <laughs>